Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show is coming up right next. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. And yeah, 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 yeah. It is so absolutely great to have all of you here today. Michael Shane is in the house. And whenever this happens, we just don't know what's going to happen, do we, Benny? No, absolutely not. So we're prepared for everything. That, every, <laughs> everything. everything and anything. I might as well just stand. You might as well just so I can move in all you, different you, directions. Exactly. Ready to go. Ready to go. Uh, for those of you out there, you will be able to connect with Michael directly uh, on our toll-free number uh, and uh, talk about uh, whatever might be on your mind and get some guidance and direction. But for those of you out there, today's show, The Importance of Healing and Integration with Michael Shane of the Ascension Foundation. And this is important. Um, healing and integration. What does that even mean? You know, what is it that we have dragged along with us along the way, lifetime to lifetime, decade to decade, that just doesn't serve us? And why has whatever we've been dragging along has become, why has it become a hindrance to most of us? You know, today, Michael is going to talk about that. But for those of you out there that have, are not familiar with him and his work, uh, what I want to just say is that uh, you have heard more and more about him and about the events he's put on, about some of the things that you all have experienced personally with him. Uh, he is a transphysical I say this again, transphysical uh, phenomena medium, transphysical phenomena medium. You know, some people see ghosts. Some people talk to ghosts. Some people see entities. Some people talk to entities. Very few people have the entities bring forth items in physical form and have them appear right before your eyes. This is what we're talking about. Benny and I and Brian have had that experience. But it is Michael connecting with the Ascended Masters to share knowledge, principles, healing, and light to all. Uh, He has an incredible platform. For those of you out there, you're going to want to find out more about how, you know, he actually uh, works with you as individuals, what some of his upcoming workshops are about, Uh, what some of the most incredible things are right now that he is doing, what the ultimate goals are. But but more importantly, why is it that Michael is finally, after decades and decades, uh, getting the recognition and acknowledgement that he has so deserved for most of his life? Well, timing is everything. And, you know, who says who says that best? But the people that are out there in the world that are now bringing forth ideas that have maybe been sitting around on their shelf for years and going nowhere. So he's joining us here today. We're going to talk about healing. We will be opening the phone lines for on uh, live readings today with Michael. Uh, But let me welcome you to the show. It's great to have you here. Well, thank you very much. It's always a pleasure to be here today. And I do like your new look. (laughs) Thank you. You and I both went out and got new looks, didn't we? We did. We did. (laughs) It's got to be in the air. Well, I, I went to a doctor's appointment yesterday, and I had my Hawaii shirt on and short pants and my new do and everything, and the doctor's looking at me like, where'd you go? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really kind of fun, though, isn't it? It is. But, you know, one of the things that I've noticed is, um, you know, there is a lightness, L-I-G-H-T, a lightness. It's light, both light and light energy. And I've always noticed it about you, but today in particular, it's in your eyes, you know, there is a crystalline aspect to the clarity in your eyes. And I'm so interested in hearing about what's changed for you since the last time you've been on the show. Jesus. Mm-hmm. 
you know, he's a, a beautiful master teacher, yeah. and he's been uh, integrating energies with me. Um, for instance, we do an event once a month, uh, and all proceeds goes to clothing for children. Um, on the 16th of this month, we're going to be doing an integration of Jesus' energy where he's going to come into my body and do a hands-on healing on people uh, for about three to four minutes per person. We've done this in Honolulu, or I'm sorry, in Maui, and we did it here last month um, at our uh, temple in Tacoma where people really came up and said that their lives have changed. So I'm having that energy within my body, but I also feel and see it's, it's like a knowing. I can see outside that window and see happiness. Yeah. There's hope. And and hope isn't fleeting. Hope is growing and spreading like wildfire. The the Christ inter- energies and consciousness, the energies and consciousness of all the master teachers that are out there. And let's not forget the energies and consciousnesses of the individuals here on this earth, the people here. We've had enough. It's it's time to say, hey, let's move on and, and get rid of this old way of thinking, this old way of living, and this old way of existence, and let go of that that holds us down. And that's what Master Jesus is teaching me in the last couple of weeks, that, hey, you know, the energy's there. Bring it in. And I've been told just in the last day that I'm looking younger, my eyes are shining, um, but it's not just me. It's it's everybody. You know, look at yourselves in the mirror and notice that there's an energy there that's right in front of us. It's, it's just, ooh, holding on to us like you wouldn't believe. The saying, hey, this is the direction. And it isn't anyone telling you what direction to go. Right, right. It's connecting to you so you can decide which direction you want to go. You know what I'm so struck by? And I know we are going to talk about healing uh, and integration today, but this is part of the conversation as well. Um, when you remove fear from the from any of the equations, when you really do, when you pluck fear out of the any bit of consciousness in your life, whatever it is, you know, whether, whether it's fear of being on the radio, fear of um, paying your bills or op- fear. Here's one. Hello. Fear of opening your mail. Right. Whatever that is. Uh, fear of change. Fear of change. Um, that's the one none of us like to admit to. Uh, and it doesn't always have to be bad change. It's change. Change, period. Okay, so what it would be a, a good change? I'll tell you what a good change is. Your favorite television show being moved to a different night, so now it doesn't compete with American Idol. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's a good change. You got to get that thing out of there if you're ever going to see your, your, right? But yet at the same time, it's like, oh, they changed my time. You know, they, they change. Uh, oh, now, how do, now I got to, uh, you know, so it's a different level or a different degree, isn't it, Michael? It is. It, it, and we're all integrating in our own time, like you were talking about earlier about timing. Not everybody's time is 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 at the same time. Okay, when you finally realize that the old ways is really the old ways, it is not serving us anymore. To realize and to connect to, hey, I can let go of all of this stuff that that's holding me down, and oh, I have a place I can go that will help me with that. At the Ascension Foundation, the one thing that we will not do, and the masters have not taught us to do this either, is to tell you what to do Mm. or what direction to go or what is the truth because you can only know what your truth is. With my truth, we can help guide people by their own free will to make decisions, which is in some cases a little hard for some people. You know, some people want to be guided or told which direction to go. But when you actually make a decision to, to go down the road on your own and you start to see the integration of change, of positive vibrations and so forth in your life, you feel more happier about it. It's like the 16-year-old kid who spent the whole summer uh, working to buy his own car and the one that just received one from his dad. 
they treat it differently. Oh, yeah. No kidding. I mean, I sold hot dogs. You sold hot dogs? I did. I, I have to tell you, I was channeled. I was spiritually channeled selling those hot dogs. I loved every minute of it. I would have a waiting line down the street for uh, out of selling hot dogs out of a cart. On That's, Coney Island? Like out of a cart, yeah. Like those silver carts, right, that you see with the umbrella. I did that. I did it for a year, and I loved it. And I love the energy of it. And when you create this energy, right? And, of course, I did that and I bought my first car, you know, from that job. But there's an energy about it that you that you see in terms of what you're putting into something. You know, it is an exchange, so to speak, isn't it, Michael? I think that's what you're talking about. It is. And uh, Master Katumi, you know, I've said this before and I think I've said it on the radio, that the old way of thinking is what is the end of in regards to 2012 and we're bringing in that integration into the feminine power uh, to balance out the male masculine energy now we're going into the female feminine energy and to integrate that requires healing of letting go of those old things that are going on or have gone on in our life anger guilt fear and sadness you get in there and just release it. You know, do it on your own. Because if you do it on your own, with the guidance of love, light, and the masters, you feel more uh, connected to it than if you were to come in to see me and I put a wand over your head and say, you're magically uh, healed. There's, there's, there's no responsibility there. Right. right. You know, and you have to be responsible for the things that you're holding on to. Because really, truly, you're the only one that can let it go. Yeah, but you know what I like about this, too, though? And I don't think you give yourself enough credit, Michael. That's just me talking, though. You know, part of this is that, you know, we do need to take responsibility. But sometimes, I'm not saying this is everybody out there, but I know it's like me. Sometimes we get so stuck in our ways that we can't even see the energy that we need to move. That's what you're brilliant at. It's helping facilitate the movement of that energy. Because, you you know, for me, I could sit there all day long and think about maybe what karmic thing I got to move that, you know, is causing my body to act in this way. But I ain't seeing it. And I have to tell you that on Friday, I had something happen to me that put me in the emergency ward. And I'll tell you that there's no way that I was going to see my own stuff going on in my own life. When we come back, we're going to talk to Michael Shane about this. We're going to open up the phone lines because he's a master facilitator. You know, he is an amazing at what he sees, how he moves things along, and how, Michael, you work with the masters. Because not all of us can hear the masters. Not right? yet. Not, not yet. I, and I know they're talking. Actually, Master Jesus is actually my main man. Um, from a very young age, very different than what I learned in religion. When we come back, we're going to be talking about how to master this facilitation and what Michael and the workshops and all of these things do to help all of us stand in our power, to stand in our yes, which is living a phenomenal life. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with the Dr. Pat Show. Does give me the light. Just give me the light. Just give me the light. Transformation Talk Radio dot com. Transformation Talk Radio dot com. Transforming the world one listener at a time. Hi, this is Dr. Pat. Did you know most coffee, not all, have hidden dangers lurking in it? A recent investigation into grocery store coffee revealed three dangers. First, modern coffee farming produces dangerously high acidity and caffeine. Second, Mold content in grocery store coffee contains dangerous toxins. Yuck. Third, government agencies have found grocery store coffee containing 400 times the carcinogens allowed in drinking water. You will be relieved to know that Camano Island Coffee Roasters takes the worry out of your sip of coffee. 
Imagine how your coffee tastes without mold, carcinogens, or poison. Get your free coffee report, The Five Hidden Dangers Lurking in Your Coffee Cup. Visit NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com to get your free copy now. That's NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com. And check out Camano Island Coffee Roasters. Are you seeking clarity? Do worries about your health, job, parents, children, or pets keep you awake, tossing, and turning at night? Are you considering a major life change? Looking for love? Do you want to create a life of joy? Let psychic Elizabeth Anglin help. Visit ElizabethAnglin.com or call 970-708-4838 to schedule your life-clarifying appointment today. Don't waste time being worried. Psychic Elizabeth Anglin at ElizabethAnglin.com or call 970-708-4838. Are the magic and mysteries of Egypt calling you? Picture yourself standing between the paws of the Sphinx, meditating inside the Great Pyramid and other sacred temples and exclusive visits. Imagine cruising down the Nile on a luxurious private sailing yacht and exploring the peaceful countryside of Egypt. If you're interested in travel that expands, transforms, and rejuvenates you, join Dr. Friedemann Schaub and Danielle Rama Hoffman, author of The Temples of Light, for a spiritual and healing journey to Egypt this September. Call for more information, 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-6463. Or visit EgyptIsCalling.com. That's EgyptIsCalling.com. Are you at a crossroads? Feeling stuck? I'm Karen Hager, the Fog City Psychic. My gift is helping people who are in transition receive spirit-led guidance about their next steps. I offer private sessions via phone or Skype, intuitive development classes, and much more. Please visit my website, fogcitypsychic.com, to find out how I can help you move out of the fog. Never really said too much Afraid it wouldn't be enough Just try to keep my spirits up when there's no point in grieving Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. For more information about us, go to www drpatlive.com, drpatlive.com. Michael Shane's joining us here for, uh, today. Uh, for those of you out there, we are opening up the phone lines for those of you that want to connect with Michael and the Masters during the show today. Um, the first caller will receive a 30-minute challenge message with Michael. Uh, the first caller to come on the air with the question, but you will receive a free, th- do I get that right? The first caller, Channeled. right? Yep. A free 30-minute channeled message. Yeah, channel, Sweet. You know. Tell everybody what that means. For those of you that don't know, I know what it means. It's where the uh, masters and your spirit guides and master teachers will communicate to me um, and answer the questions that uh, that they're going to be um, asking. Like, for instance, today when people call in, I'm going to have one or two of the masters with me or Lady Nada, my spirit guide, yeah. um, answer the question that uh, that the individuals ask me. Cool. Uh, 1-800, it's toll-free into the show today. Uh, first caller will get uh, the 30-minute channel message. But for those of you that want to read in today, 1-800-930-2819, that's toll-free. 1-800-930-2819. Now, I mentioned that Michael and uh, the team at the Ascension Foundation are going to be doing some classes, and there are some really cool events. So, Brenda, would you tell, take us through, uh, first of all, the website they should go to, and also what, what are some of the upcoming things you have planned? Yeah, our website um, has all of the upcoming classes and events posted on it. It's www.michaelshane.com. Dot com and that's m y c h a e l shane dot com. Um, the next event that we have planned at the center is this Friday. Um, doors open at six thirty, and it's a séance event for those who haven't experienced that before. Um, we do do that in darkness. Um, we we have the masters come in and teach us um, through Michael's mediumship. And they have been actually physically manifesting to teach us and talk to us about uh, lessons we need to know in life. Um, This week's is integrating um, the feminine age, integrating into the feminine age. We also have on the 20th an Abhort and Seance event 
um, which is geared around Mother Earth and indigenous peoples and connecting with the oneness that we all are. Um, on the 16th um, is the Jesus healing that Michael talked about at the center, where Jesus actually comes into his body, and um, that's a $5 donation event. So we encourage people to check out our website and uh, for our classes and events, and if they have any questions, to give us a call. And we're taking your calls today into the Dr. Pat show uh, for those of you who want to connect live on air uh, with Michael and get this channeled message from the masters. 1-800-930-2819, 1-800-930-2819, uh, right into the show today. You know, let's talk, Michael, about what these messages are and why this is so important in the healing journey. You know, I said before the break that you are a facilitator, you know, uh, for sometimes we get really stuck and clogged and we can't see our own way out, you know, um, it's like one of the survival techniques I learned, and I don't know why I learned this a long time ago, about what happens when you fall through the ice. And this happens to all of us. You know, sometimes when you fall through the ice, you know, you learn about what to look up and go for. You know, so often when you fall through the ice and you're looking for the hole to go out, you look for a light. And if you look for the light under the ice, that's not necessarily going to get you the hole that you're looking for. Right. So sometimes we need to, you know, get different direction to move ahead in our lives. Let's talk about what this means. And can anyone heal with the masters? Yes. And, they, and they're communicating with us all the time. Sometimes we don't hear it, or at least we perceive we're not hearing it. Um, sometimes we just are too bogged down with our day-to-day lives to understand what is being said to us, what our higher self and our masters are telling us. Um, This is the beauty of the, uh, the apportations that you experienced. Yes. These energies, these objects help people tune into the right channel to watch the right show. Right. Okay. On which, which direction they want to go. Um, and the feeling of these energies that are, that come through when you're sitting there in the room, and these objects come through. There's first obviously a shock factor, but then after that, once the energy starts to really focus on the individuals in the room, you start to feel that vibration. There's tears. There's excitement. There's happiness. Um, it's all healing and all beautiful. And then when you receive one of these gifts, it's like, oh my God. You know, it's a, it's, a, it's a come to Jesus moment, and you take him home with you, and there you, there you have it to remind you, I can do this, okay? Um, when you come in to do a healing um, with me, uh, you, you, you actually feel the energy pulsating through your body, which is very similar to the, than the energies that are in those gemstones. Yeah. Too. And... What this does is it's help you say, "Hey, wait a minute, I like this. Let's 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 hang out a little bit longer, and and check it out." And the beauty of that is, it, in a way, you know, I'm being used as the facilitator, mm-hmm. um, the tool, the vehicle. But this energy and these vibrations are actually communicating to you. So if you feel an energy that I'm directing in a certain area of your body. It's you that's saying, okay, I'm going to allow that energy to integrate. And then you take it from there. And the next thing you know, one day you're looking in the mirror after getting out of the shower and you're washing off all the foam and stuff off the mirror. You look in there and the reflection you see is one of the ascended masters instead of yourself. Wow. You know, that happens to me. In fact, that happened to me today. Mm -hmm. Um, Bobby, um, my spirit guide, wanted to tell me something and and she catches me every time. Every once in a while, she catch, she'll, she'll get me off guard. Like, ah, you know, there she was looking at me, and she started talking to me. And which is interesting because what she was talking about was remembering the self. Mm. We forget who we are. Yeah, totally. And what we are is divine children of, of God. So. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can see and talk to these master teachers. Yes, Master Jesus 
does integrate his spirit into my body to do healing work. Okay? But so could that be for you as well. Mm -hmm. And it's that way all the time. Some of us listen, some of us don't. Some of us feel it, some of us don't. It's all in that timing. Yeah, and I actually think that some of us have forgotten what to trust in ourselves uh, because I think all of us get to hear certain things uh, that show up. And a lot of time what we hear are voices of fear uh, and not necessarily the voices we need to be paying attention to. Uh, And so I think it gets hard for us to discern you know, what is the message to, you know, to, that will get me in the direction that I want to go? Uh, how do I go about that? Now, for those of you out there that want to schedule your own session with Michael or find out more about Michael, we can send you to the Ascension Foundation dot com. That's the Ascension Foundation dot com. Uh, when we come back from break, we're going to talk about you know, what this means in terms of the feminine age. For those of you out there that would love to get a reading uh, from Michael and the Ascended Masters, phone lines are open now. 1-800-930-2819. 1-800-930-2819. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we will be talking about this thing known as the feminine age, or at least Michael knows it is that. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Are you tired of being bloated and nauseous? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know eating unhealthy foods eventually leads to an unhealthy digestive system? Did you know eating the most healthy, nutritious food doesn't necessarily result in a healthy body? The stomach must be healthy in order to properly digest, metabolize, and utilize even the best of nutrition. Without proper digestion from the stomach through the intestinal tract, the nutritious value is not absorbed and the improperly digested food can be more toxic to your body than helpful. You can be doing all the right things and getting all the wrong results. In fact, other organs may also be interfering with your stomach's ability to digest. Contact us today for your appointment at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. Or visit us at MaryJaneMack.com. The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community. The Ascended Masters invite you to join them in co-creating this mission. Allow the Masters to lead the way in activating the wisdom of your heart consciousness and raising your vibration. You can communicate with them directly by attending apportation events and classes in mediumship, crystal light energy healing, alchemy, master studies, past life regression, and more. For a schedule of classes, workshops, and special events, visit TheAscensionFoundation.com. That's the ascensionfoundation.com. I'm Dr. Pat Basile, the host of the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Let me help you take your empowering message to a community of people looking for products and services that value all life on earth and tap into the one true freedom we have, the freedom to choose. Let our listeners choose you. Join the buzz and be the buzz. Sponsor the Dr. Pat Show. Call me at 206-523-5522. That's 206-523-5522. Hi, this is Dr. Pat. Did you know most coffee, not all, have hidden dangers lurking in it? A recent investigation into grocery store coffee revealed three dangers. First, modern coffee farming produces dangerously high acidity and caffeine. Second, mold content in grocery store coffee contains dangerous toxins. Yuck. Third, government agencies have found grocery store coffee containing 400 times the carcinogens allowed in drinking water. You will be relieved to know that Camino Island Coffee Roasters takes the worry out of your sip of coffee. Imagine how your coffee tastes without mold, carcinogens, or poison. Get your free coffee report, The Five Hidden Dangers Lurking in Your Coffee Cup. Visit NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com to get your free copy now. That's NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com. And check out Camano Island Coffee Roasters. (laughs) 
Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. Michael Shane's joining us here today. As I said before, we are taking your calls, 1-800-930-2819, to get it live on air reading with Michael. But before we do, Brenda, would you take a moment to let people know how they could set up their own session with Michael? Uh, and also, you know, what modalities that uh, you and Michael and the team work with? Yes, thank you. Um, Michael has a series of modalities that work really well in helping clear that debris or those blockages that we have that you were talking about. You know, we could sit there and and not be able to move forward no matter how hard we worked. And one of those is the crystal light energy healing. Um, It's a series of three... um, three healings that open up and clear away that debris and blockages. It's the use of crystals, oils, and um, and sound in bowls. That was brought from Master Jesus to Michael. Um, he also does regression work and helping you connect with the things that may be blocking you in this life that are from past lives or, or things that we're hanging on to. Um, the channeled readings are a great guidance as to what we need to do in our life today. How can we take that next step? Because we're unsure of how to take that next step or what direction to take it in. Um, and then um, he also has private talks with uh, the uh, masters available as well. And those are like private seance sessions where the masters actually come through, Michael, and you talk directly to the master. Okay. Let's give out the website and the toll-free number for people. Okay, it's www.michaelshane.com, and that's M-Y-C-H-A-E-L-S-H-A-N-E.com. Um, the phone number is 800-508-6437. Let's go to the phones, Michael. What do you say? Sounds great. All right, Mr. Benny. Starting things off, Jared has called in from Kent, Washington. Hi, Jared. Welcome to the show. Hello, hello. Thank you for taking my call. How can we help you today? Uh. Yeah, I'd like to know if I'm on the right path. That is an interesting question, and that's a question that a lot of us ask ourselves every day. And there's only one way to answer that question, and that is by giving you a big old fat yes. <laughs> okay. And, and the reason is, is there is no path that's that's the wrong path because all paths lead to the to the top of the mountain eventually. Um, in your case, you're going to find that this year is going to be a year of integration, but releasement. All the stuff that's happened in your past is all going to come to the foreground and you're going to do one big old giant releasement process to let it all go so that will help you on your path to move a little bit faster with more uh, balance and stability in your life. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. And these changes will be, uh, you know, by and large, changes of light, changes of love, changes of healing, and you'll connect more into your feminine energy because we're in the feminine age, which will balance out the male energies that's within you as well. And so you're walking around as this balanced individual, and people are going to look at you, well, who's he? <laughs> and they're going to see the changes not only in your in your appearances, but in your attitude and your vibration. Um, and that energy will start to illuminate outside of your body into your loved ones and friends around you. And they will also begin the changes. Okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. How does that feel for you, Jared? It feels right. Mm-hmm. It feels right. Okay. So you're going to really look at the world differently now? Yes. Right? Because that's where the change has to start. Okay. It has to start with us. Okay. Cool. Thanks, Jared. Thank you. Thank you. Next caller, we'll take Jean from Kirkland. Hi, Jean. Welcome to the show. Hi. How are you? Great, sort of. (laughs) I actually am calling because I have been um, battling with physical and emotional clutter. I think I'm afraid to feel my feelings um, to release them, so I'd really like some guidance. Hmm, This is a goodie. Okay, well, I'm going to have St. Germain. He's going to come in here and tell me uh, a way to answer your question. Fear is one of the biggies in whether or not we move forward, whether or not we choose to make certain decisions in our life. But the fear doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Something generally happens to us in our life. Uh, For instance, in your case, there's male energies that would create some cluttered emotions. There's uh, childhood stuff 
and because we're on the air, I'm going to call it stuff. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that is really going through and pulsating through your your your, your very essence of, of the molecules of your blood going into the heart where there's a lot of there's pain in the heart vibration connected to the childhood um, connection but then you also go in to the past lives as well and you don't really need to believe in past lives uh, to for it to work and you go in there and you see what is there that's that that I brought with me into the present life that is causing the repeat that's blocking you from moving forward in this life. Well, St. Germain tells me that he has good news for you. Wonderful. (laughs) And and that is, this is your year. This is where you'll integrate into that feminine power. You know, in truth, if God had a gender, it would probably be female. Okay, because there's a lot of uh, of power in that. And you've only been just a bit afraid to let that out because it creates the change. Oh, my God, what happens now? You, you follow what I'm saying? So I'm coming into my own empowerment this year, and, and, and this is what I'm afraid of, my own power. You're, you're afraid of your own power because it creates the change. It, it causes you to want to face these fears that you've held on to so tightly um, from childhood in this lifetime alone. Well, part of this, too, isn't it that we get so used to things and our fear especially that it has served us in some way? I know that my fears have served me when I go back and I look at some of the big ones, I'm not talking the day-to-day stuff, but, you know, some of the big fears, I found that I use those as a way uh, not to step into my power. Um, it, it's like you live in Washington, right? Yeah. And it rains. You don't want to walk out of your house without a uh, umbrella because you might get wet. Okay. Well, in in the way of thinking here with this, with the the masters and the reality of change, don't think about getting wet at all because it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're moving forward, and we may get wet in the process, but we can always dry ourselves on and or off and continue to move on and on forward. And that's what you're doing this year. Uh, okay. You're, you're going to you're gonna start like to I feel stuff, it. I stuff my feelings. And so um, is there a key to help me remember our conversation mm. today in St. Germain? Yes, there is. Um, you can call me at 800-508-6437, and we can get together and, and discuss this face-to-face and introduce you to the masters. Or you could do meditation work. Um, to remember this with inside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And you want to meditate on the violet flame energy. It's just like looking at a candle, closing your eyes and turning the flame into a violet flaming energy Mm -hmm. and bring it into your heart. And you'll be able to remember and connect into these things. Uh, And, but you're going to want some guidance regardless what your decision is. You're going to, you're going to come to uh, an area where you're going to want a little guidance someone to give you uh, not necessarily a direction but a confirmation to what it is that you're feeling mm-hmm. look let me ask you a question when you say that you're you're uh, you're kind of cut off from your feelings and emotions are they both happy emotions and sad emotions or just one or the other mostly I'm I numb mostly I numb okay but you you don't ever feel happy I do some. I, I more and more. I've been working on this for two years, and so I am letting the these quote unquote safe emotions through. I am feeling some joy, mm-hmm. and um, and I, I feel a lot of peace when I do uh, meditation and when I've taken classes and had consultations with others. Uh-huh. And I will do both of what he suggests because I'm very ripe. I feel very ripe for this. Okay, so let me ask you a question, if I may. Um, have you do you have you ever watched a movie and cried? Um, yes. Okay. Yes. Do you remember what the movie was? Well, I like Pride, I like Pride and Prejudice and mm-hmm. um, Jane Austen's, um, I love the love stories, the right. romantic love stories. Right. But they made you cry? 
Close, tear, yeah, yeah okay. tear, just little tears. I rarely cry. I right, rarely cry. Right. But so tear, I have to but, find that movie that makes me cry. Well, I think if you already know a movie, right, that makes you cry, like Pride and Prejudice, right, you mm-hmm. have a sense of, of, of where you cry in that movie. Right. Right. And, right. Yeah. And so there is a place for you to, to go where Michael just talked about but also to acknowledge that you have the ability to feel, you know, so what I'm trying to say to you is even though, you know, this has been an ongoing road, uh, the first place for you to start is by accepting and acknowledging that you have feelings 24 seven, seven, and that you have the ability to feel them. Mm. Right. Right. So, you, you and know, that I can be touched in that way. You mean emotionally? Yeah. Yeah, the very fact that you called into the show means that there is a way, an opening for that to happen. What Michael is talking about is giving you some safe space to do it. You know, the safe space. Because for those of us that, you know, perhaps lived our lives in a way where um, it wasn't safe to share our emotions, whether they were good, bad, or indifferent, right? Right. Um, we have to now remember. We don't have to learn. You have to remember. You know, you have to give your soul uh, an opportunity, like the one that Michael was talking with you about, to remember. And once you allow yourself to remember in a sacred space, um, then then you have to give yourself permission to feel whatever it is you feel. But a lot of times, sometimes we feel something and we go to our heads and we try to explain what we feel, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And that doesn't work. You know, you you don't have to explain the way you feel or you don't have to explain why you cried. Um, I I was watching The Voice last night. You know that reality singing show that's on TV? One of the singing reality things like an American Idol show, right? Uh, Okay. And I don't know what it was about one of the people that was eliminated, but I started to cry. Now, who cries, you know, when Christina Aguilera is talking? Nobody. But there was something about what was going on that hit a nerve for me. Right? Right. And there was something about that that hit a, a nerve for me. In, in a very unusual way. And I caught myself and I said, "What? wow, why are you why are you so upset about that? Why are you it wasn't like a big cry, but it was a, it was enough to bring an emotional feeling. Right. Mm-hmm. So, you know, this is your opportunity to take Michael up on what he said, but give yourself some safe space to do it. I love that. Without judging it. Yeah, don't yeah. judge yourself. Right. I mean, I didn't say, oh. Why are you crying over this reality show? I mean, I didn't do that. You know, I, I was just like, oh, how interesting that is. You know, that there was something about this this one contestant being eliminated that really got to me. And so I got to be with that for a minute. The other thing that I want to say to you, and this is the last thing that I, you know, I think I learned this from the Dalai Lama, is you don't have to have emotions that go on for 20 years if you have three seconds of deep, full emotion, whatever it is, you're experiencing it. So let go of any belief you have around what it means to express an emotion. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, you don't you. have to be like, cry, you know, like crying your eyes out. You don't have to do that. Feeling is a feeling. You know, spirit, God didn't say to us, you have to cry for 10 years over a relationship that ended. No. Did not say that. Okay. And Saint thank Germain, you so much, and thanks for the reminder about music because I think I'm very much touched by music, so I'm going to get some music out. Well, you. do thanks. you cry At, during Les Misérables? Some of the songs I do. Oh, every time Benny plays the Juice Newton song of the um, the sweetest thing, I cry. Uh, that's it. I just cry. Mine's so over. What? Mine's over the rainbow. Over the rainbow. <laughs> oh my God! Who doesn't cry about over the rainbow? But the original version, not yes. not the the brother. The fourteen year old Judy the Garland. The fourteen year old Judy Garland yeah. kicking it up, yeah, man. I, but yeah. anyway, Saint Germain wanted me to say something. Yes, jump in to Gene real quick. Uh, he's your master teacher. Okay, he's the he's the man that never dies. He's the one that mastered finance and money. 
But also important to you is he's he's connected to the violet flame, which is the integration and opening of your spiritual awareness. And what you have inside of you is cellular memory that is now activating because of the spiritual awareness that you're connecting to of all these things that are going to, that you, that you have always wanted to let go of. And so what you have at the end of that road and during that process is hope, resolution, happiness, love, integration of togetherness with an individual and your whole life to look forward to. And he wanted you to know that. Oh, it's beautiful. Let's take a short break, everyone. We'll be right back with the Dr. Pat Show. Michael Shane. There was a time when men were kind, when their voices were soft, and their words inviting. There was a time when love was blind, and the world was a song, and the song was exciting. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie Deleuze wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie Deleuze at info at ronniedeleuzeonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie Deleuze, your partner in wellness. What if someone could show you how to tap into vibrant health in 90 minutes? What if someone could have you listening to and following your heart's desires? What if someone could have you feel deep and abiding freedom throughout every cell of your being? What if someone could tap into your inherent abundance easily and effortlessly? Alina Frank is that someone. Alina can help you clear anything that energetically stands in your way from attaining the health, wealth, and freedom you were born to enjoy. Using EFT tapping, set yourself free with EFT. Why wait for a miracle when you can tap your power now? Visit www.tapyourpower.net. That's www.tapyourpower.net. The Ascension Foundation, serving to build an interdimensional community, presents Healing, a spiritual event Saturday, December 3rd, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. in Seattle. The event features free mediumship and energy healing demos, lectures in crystal light therapy, alchemy, meditation, psychometry, and psychic art drawing with the masters. At 6 p.m., the doors open for a rare opportunity to experience hands-on healing by the Ascended Masters. To register for this evening's seance, go to theascensionfoundation.com. That's theascensionfoundation.com. Hi, my name is Dr. Dane here from Access Consciousness. Are you a seeker, a dreamer, one of those people who's always known that there should be greater possibilities available but haven't yet been able to create it as your life? I'd like to help. Go to creatinggreaterpossibilities.com where there's a free video and audio series created especially for you. Once again, creatinggreaterpossibilities.com. It's free and it's designed to give you the actual tools that you need to create the life you've always been looking for. creatinggreaterpossibilities.com. Integrative Dentistry provides a broad range of holistic dental services by using healthy materials, whole body understanding, and quality care. Dr. Mitch Martyr focuses on natural dentistry by combining alternative treatments with conventional procedures. He has done extensive research and continuing studies in a broad range of allied fields, including TMJ and pain treatment, orthodontics, periodontology, mercury removal, toxicology, nutrition, herbal medicine, acupuncture, massage, craniosacral, and homeopathy. Call for an appointment or free consultation at 206-367-6453. That's 206-367-6453. And visit MitchMartyrDDS.com. That's MitchMartyrDDS.com. Crank it up for a minute. And I have never loved it when I'm with you, 
Wow. Thank you, Benny. Yeah, that's that Juice Newton song. (laughs) Of course you did it. Uh, Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to the Dr. Pat Show. We all get to express emotions. You know, that song for whatever. I've interviewed Juice a couple times. um, And uh, that song for me is and and actually has become my all-time favorite song ever of any song. Uh, for a lot of reasons, it's one of the most beautiful songs that you can listen to. It's so honoring, uh, you know, for anybody that has been at that place, that emotional place where you get to really see what goes on inside. Michael, thank you for joining us here today. What a great show. Uh, you know, let's talk about the ultimate goal, what it is we're trying to achieve here. And, you know, I loved our last caller, Jean. I loved her willingness to step up and really get at what is truly inside of herself because we are heart beings, really. She she is a beautiful vibration. Mm. Uh, and if you, if you ask that question, you know, what is the ultimate goal? And that is to bring that beautiful vibration in, in action out mm-hmm. into the world where you'll find ultimate healing and infinite peace and joy throughout our lives. Um, and I invite people to to contact me mm-hmm. and to come in and check out how to do that, to uh, be one with that integration of the cellular memories, to see who these entities are that I call the Ascended Masters, mm-hmm. and to also be the vehicle to help people find um, their resolution and their their happiness in their life. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've found the path to be uh, actually kind of wonderful. You can't really describe it, um, and it's beautiful. It's just it's just an opportunity that we have to be in this world today, now at this time, in the history of whatever history is. Yeah, is an absolute blessing. Yeah. And um, I invite people to come in and check that out. Well, and I think part of this is exactly what you said. I mean, I, I've been I've played that song before. I actually did a couple of shows on it. And, my, you know, I get emails from people and they said, well, what is it about that song that you so relate to? So here's what I want to say to everyone out there. And this is Michael in line with what you were saying about the flames. You know, each of us has a, a, a place inside that is so filled with love. And sometimes we have to be reminded. I think if you look back at my childhood, you, you, you know, you, you'll be able to find the good, the bad, and the ugly. And, and the beautiful. And the beautiful. And the beautiful. And, and so a song like that, for me, it, it, people say, oh, is that about, you know, your relationship that ended? And I'm like... No, it's about the love that I never thought I would ever be able to express. doesn't matter if that relationship is here, there, or anywhere. And that's what you help people do, Michael. You help us all get back to that place of love. Thank you for joining me here today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Michael Shane, everyone, go to the website, michaelshane.com. And it's Michael with an uh, Y, M-Y-C-H-A-E-L, shane.com. Check out all the things going on, folks. Thank you for tuning us in and turning us on. We'll see you next time on The Dr. Pat Show. Transforming the world one listener at a time. Hi, this is Dr. Pat. Did you know most coffee, not all, have hidden dangers lurking in it? A recent investigation into grocery store coffee revealed three dangers. First, modern coffee farming produces dangerously high acidity and caffeine. Second, 
Mold content in grocery store coffee contains dangerous toxins. Yuck. Third, government agencies have found grocery store coffee containing 400 times the carcinogens allowed in drinking water. You will be relieved to know that Camino Island Coffee Roasters takes the worry out of your sip of coffee. Imagine how your coffee tastes without mold, carcinogens, or poison. Get your free coffee report, The Five Hidden Dangers Lurking in Your Coffee Cup. Visit NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com to get your free copy now. That's NakedTruthAboutCoffee.com. And check out Camano Island Coffee Roasters. Are you seeking clarity? Do worries about your health, job, parents, children, or pets keep you awake, tossing and turning at night? Are you considering a major life change? Looking for love? Do you want to create a life of joy? Let psychic Elizabeth Anglin help. Visit ElizabethAnglin.com or call 970-708-4838 to schedule your life-clarifying appointment today. Don't waste time being worried. Psychic Elizabeth Anglin at ElizabethAnglin.com or call 970-708-4838. Are the magic and mysteries of Egypt calling you? Picture yourself standing between the paws of the Sphinx, meditating inside the Great Pyramid and other sacred temples and exclusive visits. Imagine cruising down the Nile on a luxurious private sailing yacht and exploring the peaceful countryside of Egypt. If you're interested in travel that expands, transforms, and rejuvenates you, join Dr. Friedemann Schaub and Danielle Rama Hoffman, author of The Temples of Light, for a spiritual and healing journey to Egypt this September. Call for more information, 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-6463. Or visit EgyptIsCalling.com. That's EgyptIsCalling.com. Are you at a crossroads? Feeling stuck? I'm Karen Hager, the Fog City Psychic. My gift is helping people who are in transition receive spirit-led guidance about their next steps. I offer private sessions via phone or Skype, intuitive development classes, and much more. Please visit my website, fogcitypsychic.com, to find out how I can help you move out of the fog. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Our hosts are setting a new standard for a fresh kind of talk radio, creating conversations that are transforming the world, one listener at a time. Transformation Talk Radio's mission is to broadcast a distinct blend of live talk radio interviews with a mix of uplifting and intelligent news, educational and practical information. Topics range from personal development to critical issues relevant to a rapidly changing world. Stay tuned. Transformation Talk Radio starts at the top of every hour. Transformation Talk Radio, a higher consciousness perspective. The hosts on Transformation Talk Radio offer a positive and new paradigm shift, a new vision for a collective future. They are empowering and helping all of us experience a powerful wave of personal shifts and cultural change as we break through to even greater levels of awareness. Take down our toll-free number, 1-800-930-2819. Call in, connect, make sure you tap into some of the world's most empowering psychics, healers, and more. Get an on-air reading with the best. Tune in, transformationtalkradio.com. Hey, everybody, we'll see you there. 